I'm gonna be showing you how you can create this fire paper stacking transition. Super easily. Let's hop right into it. So open in Premiere Pro here, we have this little Dirk music video clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the music video here and take five different screenshots of different parts that we wanna have the photo effect on. I recommend going for cool things like the street signs, watches, money, and just cool pictures of the artist. Once we had all these, we opened them up inside of Photoshop. I highlighted all of them and rasterized them. Then I went ahead and opened up the paper texture pack, which will be linked in the description below. And I dragged in five paper textures to match. I then went ahead and rasterized the paper textures as well. What you wanna do to add the paper texture to the images is you wanna drag one of the images above one of the paper textures, create a clipping mask on it, and then turn the image to screen. Once you have that, you can save it as a PNG and be done. I recommend doing this five times for five different images. As you guys can see, I move the pictures around and tweak them to my liking. I recommend you take your time on this and make it look as good as possible. Once we had all of our photos exported, I dragged and dropped them inside of Premiere Pro and lined them up as I like them. I made them go in like a staircase and then I made them come out completely differently. I recommend you do this just so it doesn't look the exact same going in as it does coming out. Once I was done this, I went ahead and played with the rotation and the scale of the images. I wasn't quite satisfied with the way they were looking with the paper texture on top of them So I went inside a Lumetri color and played with the contrast the shadows and the saturation to give it more of a colored look to match the footage I then went ahead and copied that and applied it to the rest of them and then going in and tweaking them a little bit one by one They looked pretty fire once I was done doing that, I opened up the Essential Sound Design Pack and dragged in some photo flashes and paper sound effects. Once those were in there, I lined the photo flashes up to when the pictures came in, and then put the paper textures in the background just to give the video some life. I took a little bit of time playing with the sound design. I highly recommend you guys mess around the game and really line it up to your liking and spend a lot of time on this because this is what really brings the video to life. Once the sound design was sounding good and it was in there, I created a few adjustment layers and added Fast Movement Effects V3 to them. If you guys do not know what Fast Movement Effects V3 is, it's my brand new pack for Premiere Pro and After Effects. It allows you to super easily add hits, shakes, and transitions to your videos with ease. That'll be linked in the description below, but we added some hits to add some energy to the transition. It was looking amazing. The effect was finally coming together. I messed around with the photos a little bit more just to size them up and make them fit better. And then I went ahead and applied the Fast Movement Effects V3 to other parts before the transition just to add a little bit more energy. And once we were finished, we had something like this. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like it, I recommend leaving a like and subscribing because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. And if you guys want to go check out any of the editing packs I use in this as well, they'll be linked in the description below.